Well, I mean, there, obviously it feels really good to get the win. You feel just really happy for the kids as they've continued to keep their head up and have good energy at practice and, and continue to believe. And so I'm really proud of them and happy for them to, you know, to feel the, to get the win and have to dig in in that fourth quarter. I'm just looking at this and we won it, what, 21 to 10 in the fourth quarter. So really proud of the scoring 21 points and, you know, to finish the game out. I thought Tony Morgan was really tough tonight. Um, obviously, she was cramping up so bad there at the end. Um, but she was just just super tough. Um, I mean, 16 points and 15 rebounds, that's that's like uh, really phenomenal numbers right there. So, um, but we, you know, we know she's a, a really good rebounder. So she's and she's got to help us in there. So we, you know, that was good stuff. But. Just proud, proud of how we just continue to, to stay strong and, and keep believing and just uh, stay the course. Go ahead. You, you made some, some good adjustments during the game, especially in that fourth quarter, to match their quickness. Took your post players out of the game, went with a smaller lineup, yeah. and that really, really seemed to work for you on both ends of the court. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was difference making because AC Carter is. She's very versatile. She can play if you, if we have to post her up, we can. But she can defend a perimeter player. So um, when we're switching, so that that was really helpful for us. But um, just yeah, just really proud of, of of how they adjusted because it was it was like the tail of two halves almost with our bigs not being in the game in the, in m most of the second half, and we just were playing with a smaller lineup. So especially the fourth quarter. Can you take me through the? The difference between the mindset in the third quarter, we all had the run to go up a little bit, and then they, they Syracuse fought right back, but then had a, another run at the end of the fourth yeah. to finally put put it away. Y'all have had shots, shots put it away, and finally got one. I think we found a little bit of an offensive rhythm with an with a ball screen, and we were able to get a couple of people coming off of them. Tony and Bianca um, are good coming off of that. You know, Bianca is a really nice pull up jump shooter. Um, Tony can get to the hole really fast. It's hard, you know, once she gets downhill. So I thought there was a little bit of a rhythm there that felt good, and so we just kept going to it. Um, and they, you know, and they delivered. That was the biggest thing. You got to finish shots. You got to knock down shots in the in the heat of the battle. And I thought we knocked down some big ones. Blackshear got off to a slow start, but she really came on towards the end of the game. Got a lot of key rebounds and made some shots in the paint. And that that, that went along with everything else that went well for you. Yeah, you know. We all, you know, now we've we've come to expect so much out of KB because she's shown she's shown us that. I thought she got off to a bit of a slow start. I was wondering what was, you know, where she was, but um, she's a clutch player, and I thought she made some big plays at the end, and that was that's what happened. It was like this this game was kind of a there was an ebb and flow that felt like to me where certain ones were shining, and then they went away, and then here comes. So it was a real true team effort. A, a true team effort. I was happy for Cam Schwartz and how she shot the ball tonight because she needed to, to find that rhythm and, and find her shot. And um, I thought she was able to do that a little bit. Really good on the free throw line. How did you feel about the defense inside the paint? Because they had a lot of free, they had a lot of layup opportunities, but weren't yeah. hitting them as much. I think one of them was they missed almost almost 20 shots down there. Well, we finally started contesting instead of fouling. You know, we were just God, we just got to quit fouling. The tough part for us was keeping them off the boards. They got a lot of offensive rebounds that I felt like were right there in our hands, and we just we didn't go get it. So we got some work to do there. You know, you got to box out and go get the ball. You can't just box out and stand there. And I thought there were several opportunities that that happened to us. But um, we we quit fouling, quit putting them, quit putting them to the free throw line, and that's been a kind of an Achilles heel for us this season. But I thought we. We kind of hung tough there with not doing that at the end of the game. Close, close games, you look for senior leadership. And Bianca Jackson really took over the game towards the end uh, with her ball handling, uh, getting, getting to the foul line, making clutch shots. You know, she, uh, she really stepped it up when you needed her to step it up. Yeah, no, no question. I mean, that is an experienced ACC player. I mean, she's got. This is her fifth year to play, so she's got a ton of experience, and she's the expectation is for her and Cam to always be able to do that because they are the experienced players on this team, and I thought they did that tonight. 
how much of the future seasons did you see in Tony Morgan's performance tonight? Because you want to have Cam and Bianca next year, and so in theory, I would get, imagine yeah. she's going to be the go-to person in games like I this again. I think what we saw tonight, and if you know, because we've watched Tony just grow up, you know, yeah, she's she's becoming a better finisher at the rim. That kid's going to get to the rim a lot, but she's got to be a she's got to be a great finisher at the rim, and she hasn't been all season long. You know, every now and then we see it, but tonight I thought she really finished well at the rim and that's why her stats are her points are what they are because she's going to get there but she's got to she's got to know the body control the two feet the you know being able to finish those shots you look at syracuse's guards they're probably as quick as any you're going to face this year uh so that really gave you a big test defensively they are so quick that that is one fast team if they if they put the jets on every time down the floor i mean it's they're hard to stop i mean you got to stop them with five people almost you got to squish it in there and then you got to worry about them kicking to threes but they're a super fast team that you know daisha fair is a it's a heck of a little player for sure great thank you all right thanks y'all congratulations all right thank you